Hello and welcome, this is Edreld and I'm pretty excited to announce that I'm starting my own Let's Play. And playing on Minecraft 1.5.2, I got a ton of mods installed and I'm just gonna go ahead and create a new world. Let's call it Edo's Let's Play World and as a seed I wanna use Edo. So let's see what this new world has um, for us. Now the approach I want to take to uh, the let's play is to assume that you know you know your way around vanilla however you have no idea about the mods and so anything I find that's uh, from a mod I'll try to explain. I like that approach. Uh, Alright so it seems I'm in some sort of big island maybe or part of a continent and I'm just gonna let the world generate for a little bit and while the world generates um, you see I got a book that's from the mod um, from the mod con Tinker's Construct and if I open it it has a bunch of uh, instructions for the mod itself it explains uh, to me how to do a, a ton of stuff uh, seems like the pattern chest has a weird texture here um, so yeah, I'll be using Tinker's Construct to make my own uh, pickaxes and special weapons. So let's let's explore a little bit. Ooh, pig. Actually, I want to break a tree first of all. Getting wood never gets old. So if I open my inventory, um, and if you look to the right here and to the left, you, you see this overlay that's part of the not enough items mod which basically allows me to see recipes for items but I want to make sure I'm in recipe mode so I'll just be able to see the uh, how to craft items if I left click on an item I see how to craft it if I right click I see what I can uh, craft with it and that's gonna be super useful because I have uh, a lot of mods so first thing I want to craft is a it's a wooden axe, so I can get some, you know, all the wood I'm gonna need. Um, I also want to craft a portable crafting table from factorization. It's crafted with a stick and a crafting table, and you can just um, right-click it, and then you get this. Basically, it opens up your inventory, but the nine slots to the left uh, are used as a crafting table. And the advantage of it is that you don't need to place it and if you close the um, the interface here, the items that are on the crafting grid won't uh, drop because it's your inventory. So a pretty useful item from factorization. Alright, I also want to craft myself the basic tools, uh, you know, pickaxe, shovel, all of that cool stuff. But first I'm going to need a bunch of wood. Alright, let's get ourselves a pickaxe so I can uh, upgrade to a uh, tier 2 of tools. Oops, seems like I'm missing a stick, but I can make a wooden sword. Excellent. Um, Alright, some sticks. And pickaxe and sword, uh, shovel. What else? Hoe. I'm not gonna need a hoe right now. Alright, we're all set. Uh, where was that pig? Let's get some some foodie. Come here, pig. And you might have seen that white item over there. That's a beehive used in the mob forestry. This uh, can be looted with a scoop in order to get bees, which then you can um, play around with and you can breed the bees and um, combine them and mutate them and you know the bees produce stuff, that's another bee, forest uh, hive and right now I don't even have wool to collect it but you know at some point I, I'll want to. Uh, these trees I think they're part of the Natura mod which adds uh, some world generation to the game and I think that looks pretty nice. Alright, give me some chicken. Oil. Oil is used in Billcraft in order to generate uh, fuel and um, oil, which 
which you can use in order to uh, use some special kinds of engines and en engines give you the power that the power that you need in that mod and that's how it looks well a liquid that's all black another hive okay desert there's a biome that's cool some more trees for natura I haven't actually played much with natura but um, you know from what I've seen it, it looks really cool uh, other mods that I have, um, I've got infinite tubes, a uh, great mod at some uh, transport conduits through which you can transport items, blocks, uh, you know, from chest to chest, you can sort stuff. Um, what else do I have? Okay, why don't I find myself somewhere to mine? Because it's gonna get dark. Uh, by the way, on the top right, you'll find a, a little map that's part of Ray's minimap race minimap mod um, basically shows me uh, you know map around me and I can also save waypoints in case I wanna get back uh, to somewhere I wanna know how to get back to somewhere I've got Optifine to help me with uh, you know frames per second it's a mod that improves or tries to improve performance okay I think this is a good place and I'm not sure what this is. I think this is you can eat this. Maybe mulberry bush. Can you make something with it, with it? Um, nope, doesn't seem like it. But maybe you can eat it. Let's see. Nope, you can plant it though. All right, so you can plant that. Let's get a little bit of mining done. So I'll be protected at night. I'm playing difficulty normal. And I'm just gonna try to get some coal or charcoal and um, you know kind of make me a temporary home to mine and to pass the night uh, let's hope I find some coal because uh, I don't think I have any wood I'll be back in a sec. Alright, let's keep mining. Alright, I think I'm gonna uh, make myself a furnace and try to get some charcoal. Um, so, stone axe would be the suitable thing to craft here. Uh, it seems like when I uh, broke those those bushes, I got some mal mellow berries. Um, I think those you can eat. Yep. Oh, that's nice, but they only restore um, like half a point. Maybe I can kind of grow them. All right. This is a uh, natural tree, I think. Uh, let's see. Eucalyptus wood. Cool. So, what mods do I have installed? Um, as well, uh, liquid XP allows me to turn, uh, to turn my XP into uh, like liquid, and I can use the liquid to. Um, Enchant books with more than one enchant using a special enchantment table or um, even like have a, a mob farm where mobs will spawn XP even if I'm not killing them. Uh, so, you know, fun stuff with liquid XP. I uh, also got um, forestry. That basically adds a ton of bees to the game. That's where the hives are from. Um, it also adds a ton of machines to grow um, plants and grow trees. In fact, you can uh, um, mix trees and get um, mutations of trees and get new trees. It's kind of cool. Um, got uh, Billcraft. Billcraft adds 
Buildcraft is a very old mod that adds a um, system of pipes through which you can transport items, um, liquids and energy. It, it adds its own energy system called Mi Minecraft Jewels. Uh, adds some really useful machines like a quarry which you can use for mass mining or um, Um, a filler which you can use for mass building or mass uh, or destroying like large uh, areas so all in all uh, a pretty cool mod especially for single player um, what do I want to craft here um, sword for sure and also some torches I keep forgetting cotton seeds Ooh, look at that let's see wonder if I can just plant them anywhere nope I'm gonna need to Um, you know, hoe, whatever. Alright, let's get some torches and let's get some more mining done. And then I'll show you all the ores that are from mods. Um, I've decided to use um, ores from thermal expansion because uh, by default you would get um, all the mods that need copper, for example, which is a metal added by the mods. Any mod that needs copper uh, has to try to generate it, c copper. So uh, unless you want to have, uh, you know, five, four different types of copper in your world, you want to disable all the um, ones you don't need. And I've decided to keep uh, thermal expansion copper. And this is what it looked like. It's just uh, kind of reddish, orangish. And it spawns at high levels. I think it's 40 to 75. Why? Uh, this, I'm not sure where it is. I think it's from uh, Thumbcraft. It's amber from Thumbcraft, I think, but it has a different texture now. And Thumbcraft is a really, really, really cool mod that adds a uh, ton of stuff into the game. Adds golems, uh, magic items, wands. It's a super sweet mod that just, just updated to. Uh, 1.5.2, just basically like today or yesterday. So I was pretty happy to find it this morning because I really wanted to um, add it to the game early since it adds uh, world generation. Oh, and look at that! It also he also added some new textures. This is also part of Thumbcraft, and I think I can mine them. Yeah, there you go. You get uh, some earth shards, which you can use in uh, Thumbcraft recipes. And the blocks themselves, if you don't mind them, they also have an effect on the world. But uh, I'll talk more about that when I'm farther into the mod. Alright, so my goals right now are to mine to the bottom of the world, kind of get a mineshaft going. Um, however, ores in thermal expansion don't, sp don't um, spawn everywhere, you know, randomly. They actually have a range in which they appear and as I said copper spawns on the top tin which is another metal added by mods it spawns um, kind of lower I think and then you've got um, what I wanna do is go get some diamonds first of all you know to get some nice tools also iron would be nice and first pick is broken all right Uh, so other mods, I have microblocks from Imnibis. Uh, microblocks from Imnibis is like red power microblocks. Basically, you can cut blocks uh, down with a handsaw to make smaller, like to make covers and panels. And then you can use the panels to cover uh, stuff. And you can actually uh, interact with other mods like um, applied energy sticks which adds uh, some kind of uh, pipes or conduits and you can like cover them and make your base look pretty um, and since red, red power isn't out and it's probably not gonna be out for 1.5.2 in a long time then I've decided to get um, Imnibs microblocks so um, I've got flat bedrock uh, I think it's pretty self-explanatory makes bedrock at the bottom of the map uh, be flat so there's just one layer of bedrock it's not all randomly uh, generated 
Um, ender storage. Uh, if you've seen vanilla ender chests, it's like that, except you can have different networks. Each um, ender chest in this mod has a, a three color combination and you can change one of the colors with uh, any of the colors with dice and when you have two chests that have the same color combination they will be linked together so you have a total number of possible combinations up to uh, 16 by 16 by 16 so basically uh, you know more than you'll ever need and check that out I didn't miss that there's iron my first piece of iron in the world that's cool because um, stone is great, but not getting anywhere fast enough, I think. So, that's a pickaxe. That's a shovel, probably. Unless I want to make two, but I don't have enough iron for that. Um, Alright. So I'm just going to make a crafting table here. Okay. And the iron. All right, I'll come back when the iron is ready. All right, now I've got an iron pickaxe. So I'm gonna mine a little bit more, and um, if I find any new ores for mods, I'll uh, no, I'll show you. But I don't wanna like just show you me mining because you know that could get tedious. So I'll be back with some interesting stuff. And first piece of lapis lazuli at level 11, which is where I like to mine, or 10. Um, I like to mine one up. There you go. Although, you know what, I'm gonna mine on 10 because that's where I found lapis, so maybe it'll give me luck. All right, I'll be back. Oh, actually, I just found a new ore. That's quartz, which is an ore added by uh, Applied Energistics, and it's used to basically make everything in that mod. And Applied Energistics is a really cool mod that allows you to um, kind of automate crafting. That's I think that's the main function. But you can also um, automate a ton of other stuff. You could say like, okay, I want this inventory to have like five iron pieces at all times and then like the mod is gonna make sure that that happens. Of course you gotta, you know, set it up first. Some more iron, that's cool. Um, we've also got industrial craft. Industrial craft is another of those um, mods that's been, that's been around for a long time. Let's say I think this is lead and silver probably yep uh, I've also got this inventory tweaks mod if you click here you'll see that that's the settings for the mod and I have my sort key on H and my sort key basically what it does is sort items in my inventory by item ID so that's really cool and as I was saying industrial craft adds um, a ton of machines to process ores also adds items to help with mining and other cool stuff and a ton of mods interact with you know industrial craft energy and it also adds this ore which is called uranium ore and you can use in um, nuclear reactors oh and achievements maybe I'll be able to get all of them in this run alright so I wanna go back and start making my little temporary beginners house and maybe get started with Tinker's Construct so I'm just gonna get up there, uh, I'm just gonna meet you up there. Alright, I'm out here and since like my bushes are growing slowly but surely, I'm hoping that'll uh, help me with uh, food, with the hum hunger level. I think I'm just gonna start uh, building something up here. So I've got a ton of cobble. Uh, I should probably eat something because I'm kind of starving. Um, Alright, let's make ourselves another Yet another furnace. I like to have a few furnaces, you know, in various levels. So I can use them whenever. Uh, the mod I'm using to drag the mouse and do like that is in, uh, Mouse Tricks. It's a pretty cool mod. You can just, uh, you know, drag stuff to 
do things uh, in the inventory. Uh, one of the things you can do is what I just did, which is to drag cobblestone around the crafting table and then it'll distribute it, you know, piece by piece, and then you can, like, um, just go around and around and it'll keep adding up. So, furnace, uh, let's get some uh, chicken cooked with our coal and um, let's build a house. Now, I like to see um, chunk boundaries, which is an ability that not enough items provide. If you go to options and controls, you get this uh, chunk overlay which I have, uh, it's assigned to F9 by default and then you can see these uh, red bars that allow you to see the chunk boundaries so I like to build my house inside a chunk uh, you know just for it's not like important or anything, doesn't help but it's OCD you could call it I guess alright let's eat some chicken because I'm about to die of starvation all right, now let's build a house. I'm just gonna start. Um, where's the chunk boundary again? Now, a 16 by 16 is kind of big, so you know maybe I won't start by doing that, or I'll just start here and then I can like expand once I get more cobble and stuff. Um, I go, all right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's make it a good eleven, three, four, five. You know what I need? I need a, a shovel. Uh, do I have wood? I think I'm out of wood now. All right, let's get us some a, a lot of wood now. Another mod I've got to install is nuclear control, which is able to um, help me with monitoring those uh, nuclear reactors that Industrial Craft adds. has a ton of stuff to monitor heat and to uh, stop reactors if they're about to explode. So a pretty cool mod. Uh, I've also got stiff cards, adds a lot of cards, not of cards, of items to the game that help you build your own custom cards. Um, you can have cards that plant trees, you can have cards that, uh, you know, um, like uh, wheat farms or other types of seeds. Alright, shovel, that's what I want. I've got, uh, what else, what else, what else, what else, mine factory loaded. That's, uh, it, it, mine factory loaded, I haven't really played much with it. But uh, I know it adds a ton of machines. I like also planters and that can plant uh, plants for you. Um, adds this uh, its own transport system with conveyor belts where items go through. Uh, it looks pretty good, and I'll I want to use it a little bit. And all of these machines require energy, so I'll have to get myself some kind of energy to begin with. I've also got tube stuff, that's a bunch of uh, useful blocks, uh, automatic crafting table for example, or um, a block breaker where you put the tool inside the block breaker and then it'll use that tool. Alright, so is this 11? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, perfect, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. All right. I love that chunk boundary uh, ability, especially if uh, when you use chunk loaders. Let's say you're in a server and you have um, um, you know chunk loaders that can only load an area of uh, three by three chunks. Then you want to make sure that you build your base inside those um, three by three chunks. If you only use one chunk loader, then you can use the chunk uh, you know the chunk overlay to um, to make sure you're building your base inside the chunk area. So, what else do I have? I also I already mentioned Natura, which uh, you know helps with world generation at 
that's new trees and plants and those bush bushes. Oh, seems like one of them already grew. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna need a door, I think. And more cobble. If that's all the cobble I have left, I'm in big trouble. Also sheep I would like, but haven't seen any since I started. Iron chests is also in the pack. Um, adds upgrades to chests so they can um, store more stuff. You've got uh, copper chests, iron chests, silver chests, diamond, gold, uh, maybe I forget some types. Mm, what else do I have? Um, Greg Tech adds lots of machines to the games and they, it's an add-on to industrial craft actually but it adds a ton of content by itself not not just upgrades to industrial craft or, or changes but it also changes uh, crafting recipes for other mods to make them um, usually harder um, I quite like the Greg Tech mod especially the power generation part you basically can use a ton more stuff for uh, to generate power probably should get some glass there and um, Ah, shit! Oh, good thing I covered. Otherwise I would be dead. Alright, creeper. That won't be the last I see of you, I bet. Um, so I would like to get some blast resistance on my base, maybe. Oh, you know what I need? I, I need some torches. Around the base. Alright, so I'm gonna go do some mining. And I'll meet you up here. And check this out, my first diamond vein with my first redstone vein. Let's see how much I get of each. Plus some iron and some uh, silver. There you go. And lead. Seems like this place is filled with riches. So let's see how many diamonds I get. One, oh, at least enough for a pickaxe. Three, that's pretty nice. Uh, but do I want a pickaxe? Well, we'll see about that. I think I'm gonna use them to first to make my first Tinker's Construct uh, pickaxe. Alright, my pickaxe is broken and I'm gonna go back up and try to make one of those special pickaxes. I'll meet you up there. Alright, so I repaired the part of my base where the creeper attacked and the first item or block I want to make is actually a grindstone. A grindstone you make it with the quartz from Applied Energistics or the new uh, Minecraft quartz and I'm just gonna get all of the uh, materials and I'm gonna need some wooden gears which are part of Billcraft and they're pretty cheap to make. You make them like this um, if my mouse starts working, all right. Oh, so I got. Um, if I press B, the crafting table is gonna balance out the materials, so that's pretty handy. All right, uh, I'm gonna need some stone. Three stones. Is that a slime over there? I think I I can hear slime. But it seems to be a special type of slime. Hmm. Oh wow. Alright. Seems to be a new mod. Mob. Uh, maybe from Natura? Wonder where it drops. Yep. Oh. What? I forget that mobs can wear armor now. And like pick up stuff. Alright, so this. It seems like this little guy doesn't really drop anything. That's not too bad. Oh, I found out you can right click these bushes in order to get the fruit. So I'm just kind of breathing them. I wonder if they drop more than one, because I'm um, not sure what I did before so that I get, I got two. Ah, whatever. Maybe fortune will help. Alright, let's get that um, grindstone working. Just need three quartz dust, 
three stone, two cobalt, and one gear. I got everything I need. And I can just check out the recipe and shift click on the interrogation icon while the crafting table is open and I'll get the recipe put automatically, which is pretty handy. Uh, now this block needs a special tool which is the uh, cradle, not cradle. Let's see, I'm just gonna. Uh, I need a wooden crank. Pretty easy to craft. Alright, and now you just right click with the wooden crank on top of the uh, grindstone and you can right click it and when you do that any ores that you put inside are gonna be macerated uh, which means uh, for each ore you're gonna be able to get two ingots and those two ingots uh, two dusts of that ore and then you can smell those dusts and get um, ingots from them so basically you get double the output for each ore so I'm just gonna get all of my ore processed and I'll be back. So the last thing I wanna do in this episode is to get some glass. So I've already gathered a decent amount of sand in my inventory. And then I go, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna cook it, and I'm gonna try to finish my house. So I'll meet you when I'm done smelting the, the sand. Alright, so I'm just about finishing my house with some glass, which will be nice because the rain won't be able to come in. Uh, also no spiders, which is even better. And there you have it, I think, uh, you know, this was good content for the first episode. I finished my house, I started some, I got some ores processed. And I'll try to get more into the mods next episode. Uh, hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you next time.